Hey guys, it's Amy at Ada for Sycamore, and in this video, I'm really excited to show you how to install Sure Strip wallpaper. Sure Strip means that it's pre pasted, and so it's not the peel and stick where you remove the back, which I was originally after, um, but I also didn't want to mess with applying paste to the wall and paper. Um, I've never installed wallpaper until now, and so I really wanted um, an easy method and then a method where I could remove the paper without damaging my walls. So I'm excited to show you step by step how to install this and um, if you love DIY and decorating please subscribe to my channel and if you like this video I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up. So let's, let's get started. So the first step is you're going to prep your wall by wiping it down removing all dust, debris, dirt, just really making sure that the surface is ready to be adhered to. The next step is measuring the width of your wallpaper roll. Mine was 18 inches, and so I'm going to take that measurement and I'm going to mark 17 inches on my wall. I don't want to mark an exact 18 because um, I don't know if the wall is perfectly square. So I'm drawing my plumb line um, at 17 inches and that means that I'm going to trim off the excess on the left side. I'm just using a level here, a nice straight edge, and I'm making sure it is perfectly straight top to bottom. Here's a quick shot of all of my tools. Um, I will go ahead and link my blog post in the description so you can have links to all of these items and you'll see me use them throughout the video. So. Now that I have my mark set, I'm rolling out my the roll of wallpaper. And this particular roll, um, it's one continuous roll and it has the cut lines. And so I'm just cutting exactly where it says and this roll show, tells me where the top and the bottom pieces are. So um, after you have your roll out, make sure you have um, protective plastic because you're going to be spraying water. Now I use this continuous mister um, spray bottle. It's actually for hair, but um, it's what I had on hand and it seemed to be exactly what I needed. Now for this first um, row, I did not spray enough. I didn't, I really had no idea how much it needed. So um, this is the process of misting it, folding it in half, and then folding it again. And then you're going to wait two to three minutes. And I waited three minutes every time. So like I said, this first strip did not have enough water. I opened it and it felt really dry. So you can see I kind of sprayed some more, but it still wasn't quite enough. And so um, throughout this piece of video, you're going to see me add even more. Even when it's up on the wall, I would find where it was totally dry or it was pulling away, it wasn't sticking at all. And so I was spot spraying the different spots. Um, there is a piece in this video where I show exactly how much and I hope you can see it okay. So for this part I am lining it up with my pencil drawn mar mark um, because that is that line is level for sure. Now I'm not sure if you can see it or not but I have more paper at the top than on the bottom so it's a good thing I didn't use the left side of the wall as my level. The, the whole mural would have been totally off so um, I'm just adjusting, I'm scraping with this felt edged scraper. And then when I get to the light switch, I'm cutting it out and I'm just really making, you can really see the texture come through when you're scraping the paper. And um, I'm just really wanting to make sure that it's adhering properly. For this strip, I didn't have any excess paste coming out. I did experience that later. Um, and that's one of the reasons to have a bucket of water and some washcloths, a clean sponge, because you want to make sure to clean that paste off immediately from your um, trim, your ceiling, the wallpaper, just every surface, even um, your floor. But it, I put some plastic down so I don't have to worry about the floor. So I went ahead and I cut my edges before the paper was dry. Um, it's what I have seen on other videos and I just used this uh, snap off razor blade knife and it worked really well. So this is where I'm going to show you just how much 
spray I used. Um, I made sure my bottle was full every time because I used almost all of it. Um, and it's a continuous spray, so even though you can see I'm squeezing the trigger, it is continuously misting the whole time. And I'm um, using the re reflection of the light to really make sure that it is even and thoroughly covered. And then the three minutes helps it to activate everything. So from here on out, now that I have the first strip up and it's totally straight with my pencil line, now I'm just lining up the pattern perfectly. I'm going to have excess at the top and I'm going to trim that when it's all up and excess at the bottom. So just really make sure that the, the seams line up perfectly and come together. Now, I had some seams that spaced out and I ended up using some colored pencils to, to fill in the, the white wall that was showing through. I have no idea. Um, I'm guessing maybe it slid a little bit. Um, maybe there was shrinkage. I'm not sure. I don't, I doubt that was the case. It was probably a totally user error. But uh, regardless, really make sure that you line up your pattern perfectly and really butt those seams up together. And First, I use my hand to, to smooth it out, and then I use that felt tip scraper, which um, I actually started working up a sweat because I was scraping really hard. I have orange peel texture walls, and I really wanted to make sure I got air bubbles out. I wanted to make sure the adhesive stuck really well, and I wanted those seams to be seamless. Um, at this point, I still don't have paste um, sneaking out that happened later and but you do want to be looking for that the whole time and you want to make sure that your scraper is clean and so having some clean water sponge um, a microfiber rag is really important and then that trash can you see that is where I'm putting all my trimmed off pieces because they're they're sticky pieces of wallpaper so I'm, I'm putting them directly into the trash and here's a quick close-up of how to snap off the utility knife. The little snap off tool is built right into the end of the utility knife and I used a fresh blade for every single cut. Um, I don't know if I needed to but I wasn't going to risk it because I didn't want to snag the paper. As you can see each roll is going to be the exact same process. I'm going to roll out my piece, mist it, fold it up, wait three minutes, and then unfold the top half and line up that pattern. And then once that pattern's lined up, I scrape it, rub, um, rub it with my hands, make sure it's in place. And then I unfold the bottom half and work on the bottom half. Here's kind of a close up. I'm using this metal ruler. Um, I, I've seen some people use a plastic edge, but I really wanted that hard surface to help kind of stabilize the cut. And then it's as simple as that and I'm wiping it down just to make sure that there's no residue and adhesive on my trim or the wallpaper. So I don't know if you can see there, but the bottom half is still folded up um, and I'm lining up the pattern just like all the other ones. So more of the same, a um, little monotonous, but I got this done in an evening. So I started after I got my girls home from school, we took a dinner break, and then I finished that night. So it can be a pretty quick process when you get into the group. Now before I'm pressing and scraping down this bottom portion, I'm going to use my knife and cut around the plug-in. Be careful to not um, stick it in. I'm feeling around and I'm cutting right around the um, outlet because the, the outlet cover, it will cover all the imperfect cutting um, of the paper. But once that's out, then I go ahead and I scrape it. So um, before you scrape everything perfectly down, I recommend cutting out any outlets or light switches. So this is um, after dinner. You can see the sun is setting. Um, it, it's really coming together. You can see the mural, how pretty it is. And there were actually two more columns to this wallpaper. I really wish my wall would have been bigger. I wish I would have started a little off to the left so I could have got the rest of that bird in the shot. Um, it's just a gorgeous mural. OK, 
Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, this final piece I was a little bit stressed about because there's quite a bit of overhang and I was thinking, oh gosh, that's it's really gonna be awkward. Am I getting paste all over my wall? Well, what I went ahead and did is I lined up my pattern, my image perfectly, and then I took some scissors and I cut off a big chunk of that excess just to make it easier to smooth and get really um, in there tightly in the corner. Now, one of the mistakes that you can't see in this video is I did not do a great job cutting um, the final right side and the final left side. Um, I, it was my first time and I didn't use that metal ruler the first time. Um, so my, my takeaway is always use a metal ruler and just take it nice and slow. What I ended up doing to cover that is I used some caulking and just smoothed it out and you know, it looks, it looks fine, it looks great. So you can cover up any mistakes with caulking, but if you take your time and use that metal edge, um, you should have a nice clean cut. So I'm just finishing up, final scraping, and then I wiped everything down before the adhesive dried. Here is my dining room, I'm getting ready for a tea party, but I wanted to kind of show you the whole roundabout so you could kind of see how it fit in with the space, the earthy tones. Um, it's just a beautiful, vibrant mural, and I highly recommend um, installing wallpaper. It adds so much character and beauty. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks so much.